Butterflies are really popular, and so is the black and white color combination, as well as individual cakes. So today we're going to take all three, put it together in one project. To get started, cover your four inch cake with fondex. And then you'll need to make some black buttercream. So a little super black gel and some white buttercream will do the trick. And then I pipe a simple bead border with a number 10 tip. The butterfly, BTF2, has some beautiful black piping on it. So that is the inspiration for this cake. I use a number two tip and start with straight lines. Gravity is key here. You can use the same butterfly and get inspirations and come up with a different configuration altogether. Anything will work with this cake. For the top of the cake, I like to put a big flower, make a statement. So I chose a magnolia, M-A-G for the top. Big flowers are big right now. So all you need is one. And it's easy, you just stick one on the top and ta-da, it's finished. Positioning the butterfly can be a bit tricky. So here's how I do it. I take a skewer and I wrap floral tape around the stem of the butterfly and it will secure it to the cake. Very delicately, take the skewer that's attached to the butterfly and place it between the petals. It helps if the skewer is perpendicular to the cake board. You don't wanna lean it over too much because the weight of the butterfly will drag it down. So just remember to keep it straight and it'll work perfect. To add a little pizzazz, you have to use glam ribbon. Cut a strip and stick it around the edge of the board. Hot glue will work, double side tape will work, really anything. I chose a black ribbon with silver stone. Beautiful. And that's it. We're finished. This cake is perfect for a birthday cake for a woman or maybe individual cakes for a wedding. Can't you just see 500 of them? Gorgeous. All right, better get baking. Don't forget to subscribe to CalJava's YouTube channel for more videos like this one.